Well, hello, Let's Players. Welcome to Let's Play Sukaden, where I hope to uh, do this awesome game justice and get all 108 stars. We're going to start the game by uh, naming our protagonist. Since he is an unnamed protagonist, we will go with this. He doesn't have an, uh, an a quote unquote unf unofficial name, but the uh, Sui Koden community has uh, pretty much settled on Tyr as his name, Tyr McDowell. I think I'm saying that right, Sui Koden. For the longest time, I thought it was Sukoden, but apparently it's pronounced Sui Koden, and that is an incredibly uncomfortable word to say. can actually go off and uh I love how the floor is all shiny. Man, I remember when I bought this game, I'm actually playing off of a CD in EPSXE version 1.7. I'm playing off a C the original CD. I bought it in a pawn shop called uh, Cash America Pawn. Uh, we lived about two blocks away from the pawn shop at the time, and I was bored. So I was bored and had some money. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna walk down there and see what they got. And while I was down there, in the very back, they had a uh, jewel case with uh, their games in it. United City States of Jowstone. Of course, you hear these names. Uh, one of the great things about Suikoden, Suikoden, excuse me, is the sheer amount of work and cohesion in the world. I mean, they mention stuff in this game, the second game that shows, and the second game that show up all the way into the fifth game. They mention. Uh, and I think this one or the second one, they mention the war that happens in the fifth game. Uh, so, you know, just a lot of cohesion in this world. But, you know, back to my story. Uh, I was in the back and they had a whole bunch, apparently someone had just unloaded a whole bunch of RPGs and I bought them all. I'll be polite. Never piss off a king. You never should piss off someone who can have you beheaded. Just, you know, simple life lesson. But, uh... I remember that day because I bought Vandal Hearts. The Grand Stream Saga. Which is an interesting game if you've ever played it. I still own. I still own Vandal Hearts, this game, and uh, the Grand Stream Saga. And I bought. Ooh, what was that other game? Persona Revela uh, Revelations Persona. I got all of that in that pawn shop that day. I spent twenty dollars. Please depart. One of the downsides of this game is that you cannot run. Like, at all.
This is as fast as you can go, un unless you get, uh... Uh... A Holy Ruin equipped, that's what they're called. And then you can go faster. But, uh... You know. That guy just looks untrustworthy. Well, bureaucrats are very rarely physically strong. So, you know. It's been a really long time since I played this game. Uh, I had an issue. The last time I played the game, I popped my CD in. And I played it on... 1.6... Whatever the last version of uh, EPSXE is. There's Grimio. A very androgynous man. Who wields an axe. I don't even remember what I was talking about now. Oh yes, the last time I played the game. I actually well I actually uh, beat the game and got all 108 stars and then I uh, loaded uh, I did something that I was never able to do with my original cop my original PlayStation I uh, loaded up uh, my save in Sukuden 2 but it would not read the save so I was quite disappointed in that. I was incredibly disappointed in that because I'd never played Su Sui Coden. Ah. Sorry, it's not going to be easy to uh, wipe away years and years of calling a game one thing. Those are actually really nice. If you can save up, I'm gonna buy a pair, <laughs> and I'll show you how I'm gonna get the money to do that. There is actually three tricks you can do before you continue the game on. Oh wait, I need to save before I do anything. One of the tr two of the tricks involve you uh, basically traversing a mountain that you're not supposed to go to for a good two or three hours into the storyline. You traverse the mountains, you go there, and a man gives you, depending on which trigger you do, if you go by yourself, you get one reward. If you go with uh, Ted, you get another. I am not going to be doing that. That takes way too much time. get either a fortune rune or a uh, what is that other rune called? There's a rune that gives you double XP and there's a rune that gives you uh, shit basically the enemies here are too strong for you to fight by yourself it's actually kind of annoying you're not meant to go outside right just yet See. 